Good morning. Hello, all my awesome sauce people. I am here to show you that I did another batch of these little scrappy journals. Um, and I'm going to get them listed on Etsy right after I film this. I am not going to go through each one because they are very, very similar. Um, I will go through one so you get an idea. Uh, these are what I call my 30 day uh, scrappy journals, and that's because they have at least um, 60 pages. So when you open them up, um, you could do one spread each day for 30 days. Um, they're fairly straightforward and simple. Uh, they are made with uh, canvas. Sorry for my lack of finding my words this morning. <laughs> canvas covers <clears throat> that are made from uh, paintings that I was not thrilled with and so I painted over them to make these journal covers and I'm really happy with how they've turned out. I, I really love them. Uh, and then they have a sari silk ribbon closure, a little eyelet in the back here. Uh, <clears throat> the front cover has a clip with a vintage French vocabulary card, and then right inside is the definition of bricolage, which is my favorite word in the entire universe. And then it's just an assortment of scrappy little papers to do your um, arting on. And so when I say you can do a spread every day for a month, well, 30 days, whatever, this is what I mean. So if you want to do an art journal page like this, you can do that. So there's over 60 pages in here. And I'll just keep flipping through a little bit here so you can see what do we have. Uh, each, each one of these has two of this style of pocket and a journaling card that I've sewn fabric to on the top for a little tab and a little set of actual vintage tickets in that front pocket. I'll show you the back pocket when we get there. <clears throat> Each one has one of these um, uh, vintage yearbook pages and then each one also has one of these which is a pocket so you can take this out and then you're left with a pocket <coughs> to use for your own arting, or you can leave it in. Um, some people use this as is. They do a little art on each page, and that looks really cool. Or if you just want to take these off, you can just rip them off and use them in your collaging or art journaling, however you want to use it. Totally up to you. A vintage recipe page and then each one has one of these little fabric texture flippies and each one has one of these pockets with a little journaling card and a little vintage blank receipt that you can use for journaling or other things Be creative however you want to do it each one has a piece of my Hand painted paper or jelly printed paper. Each one has a um, page from a Richard Scary children's book in the center. And now we're on the second half of the journal. And so each one of these, these are going to be in my Etsy shop. They're $17.95 a piece plus shipping. Um, they're just a very basic little straightforward journal with lots of variety and potential. Um, I think, you know, as they get fuller, they're, they're chunkier and they're just so cute. So this is, each one has one of these vintage number cards and here's the other journaling card. Of course, each one is different, um, but you do get one of those. So. Lots of little texture pieces, and then in the back is a playing card and a vintage photograph. Some of them have a vintage photo, uh, like a, well, uh, I can't find my words. It's like a postcard, a miniature postcard. If you look back at the last video I did, it's those. This one just happens to have a regular photograph. But anyway, that is it. So... 
hope you enjoyed this. And if you need to have one of these, head on over to my Etsy shop. There should be a link in the description below. And I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day. And I will keep creating and sharing with you. Thanks for joining me. Bye.